And I, um, I was walking my little dog and I saw three very small kitties in the grass. Someone threw them away and asked my ex-wife if I could rescue them. She said, no, you know, in Vietnam uh, there's a superstition, it's not good to have uh, a cat at all. So I decided not to, to rescue mm -hmm. the kittens. And another time, um, just in front of my house, um, I had a very old woman and she used to have some cats and one female had uh, two kittens. She was pregnant, she, she gave birth to two kittens. When she moved away, she left the two kittens behind. And one was blind and the other one took care of the, the, the blind one. And, uh, I wanted to rescue them. And my wife, my ex-wife, she said, no, 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 no cats at all. And just a few hours later, the two kittens disappeared. Probably someone took them, I don't know for what. I don't know if they are still alive. Or... So it was the last time I listened to my ex-wife. This cat, my name is Penta, which is my first cat I rescued. Uh, I found her in a park with uh, two other kittens. They were about a few days, maybe four or five days. They were thrown away. So I found them thanks to my little dog. And uh, I feed them with a, a syringe. A syringe. And uh, one is dead. One Died. Another one was adult, and this one, she's still with me. Better. I decided to do something about the animals. Uh, so I wanted to create an organization, but it's not easy for a foreigner in Vietnam to, to create a non profit organization. But anyway, I decided to do something for the animals to offer them a better life. After the three kittens, I rescued another one and another one. And a few months later, I had um, 20 cats. Um, I usually wake up at about um, 7, so all the animals are already wake up. Then I give them some food and some other cats, they are sick. So I have to give them some special food. And they wait for me to get some food. And they want me to open the door to, um, to get some fresh air. Because you know, during the night I close the door because I don't want them to go out because I'm afraid they can be stolen. When I wake up, I start cleaning the boxes, the, the cleaning the, 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 the pee and the poop uh, in the boxes or in the kitchen. And then I go to walk the dogs. In the 
the afternoon it's quite uh, it's quiet because I take uh, some rest, I take a nap. Uh, I have to, to work on internet and to reply the emails I receive, about 100, 150 emails every day. And I have to prepare some articles, I have to take some pictures of the animals. Sometimes I have to do some shopping to get some food for the animals or for me. Last time I have to, to clean the house, uh, it's around uh, 11 in the evening and then I go to bed. Now my big problem is uh, uh, the, 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 the way to get some money to help the animals because I have to pay the rent of this house, I have to, to pay the, the electricity, I have to pay the, the water, I have to pay the food, I have to pay the vet and the vet it's quite expensive when you have many animals. But I want to stabilize them to prevent new, new birth. And I uh, don't want animals sick because uh, when someone say, oh, um, you have many animals, uh, it's not good, it's not safe because uh, the virus or the disease. No, 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 my animals are not sick because I pay the vet and they are vaccinated. So it's quite uh, expensive because I don't have a job. Before I used to go back to, to France or to Europe to work and save, and save money, but now it's difficult because I work alone and uh, I have to take care of the animals. So I can't go abroad. I try to, to give some French or English lessons at home, but sometimes the students are not very serious, so it doesn't work very well. I also try to start another activity, it's boarding, so when some people are busy or when they have to go somewhere, they don't have time to take care of the animal, so they ask me if I can keep the dog or the cat for a few days or a few weeks, and they pay me for that. They pay me for that and they provide the food. So it's okay. But sometimes, there's some people, they ask me to take care of a cat, and then they disappear. Because I don't ask the money before they give me the cat. I ask the money when they come back. So sometimes they just uh, abandon the animal. So I have uh, one new cat or two new cats, because they, they never come back. The problem, I have to move very often. I have to move every year or every six months. And uh, it's not easy because the owner is not agree most of the time when you have many animals. And when I found this house, I say, okay, uh, I take this place, I take this house, I, I will rent it. Uh, because the owner said, no, no problem with the animals. You can come with the animals, it's all right. But now he asked me to, to leave, not because he doesn't like animals, because some people around complain about the animals. They don't like that and uh, they complain about the smell. My dogs and my cats are um, like my kids, my children, and they are part of my family. And uh, because uh, it's not an object, uh, it's a living being. So I say, how can I live in the country? Uh, with uh, such people. And we know uh, all the dogs uh, in, a, in any dog meat restaurant are stolen pets. They were former pets and uh, I don't understand why nothing is done about that. Because they belong to someone and people love their animals. Some people already knew me and they said, no Leo, you should stay, you start something already and you have to stay here and to continue what you do. And uh, so I decided to stay and to continue. And even if I have some trouble, if I have some problem with some neighbors or with some other people because they don't like animals or because of this or because of that, I don't care. I decide to continue. And now I, I run this activity for four years now, about four years. And to 
work with, uh, to communicate with Vietnamese people is very important. If we want to improve the situation about the animals in this country, we have to work with the, with the locals, with the Vietnamese people. Thanks to internet, or some people who come at home, I met many, many, many people who love animals. And they really like, they really appreciate what I do, my activity, and it's a kind of mission, what I do. And I think uh, I have uh, many people on my side. I have uh, on Facebook um, 5,000 friends, and I can say 99% are Vietnamese, so it means it works. What I do, what I have done so far, it works now. I have a kind of reward.